So I've been literally been saying this for like probably a month now. If you're not taking care of your body, mind, and soul. It's kind of a life lesson. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently five o'clock and it is Friday. So I'm just gonna do my makeup right now because we're going out to White Rock, which is basically like a really pretty area. It has like cute restaurants and place to like just walk along. So we're just gonna go for dinner there and we're hoping to go to the boathouse so we can get like a patio seat and overlook the water. So yeah, that's a little plan for tonight. Going with Joel, Julia, Juliana are coming as well. Yeah, just gonna be like a little fun night out. We didn't wanna do anything like too crazy this weekend. We wanted it to be like more chill um, because our last weekends have been eventful. So we just wanted out. I just wanted to have a chill dinner because the weather is beautiful. It's literally 34 degrees right now, so it's really hot. But the thing is, is I'm literally wearing a sweater because I have air conditioning in my house, so I don't feel the heat. And then once I step outside, I'm like, holy shit, I did not realize it was that hot outside, but it's freaking hot. So I'm just gonna make this like a Friday, Saturday type of vlog. And I really wanna do, I know I've shown you guys before, but I really wanna redo the painting, I mean the photo frames in my room. And I really wanna paint something to go in at this time. And I have some inspo for photos so i think i'm gonna do that this weekend and yeah i also need to do my nails so maybe i'll do that in this vlog as well and yeah i also i'm gonna be like working on the weekend because we're going to a cabin this next week with joel's family so i really have to get ahead with my work and just like make sure that i'm gonna be okay if the wi-fi isn't good there i'm definitely gonna be working this weekend to catch up on everything and just make sure that i'm ahead for next week Okay, so I'm all ready. This is from Princess Polly. This whole outfit is actually back. It's so freaking cute. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get going now and I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's go. Hey guys, so we just got to White Rock and we put our names in, or Juliana and her brother put our names in at the boathouse, but she said it's gonna be an hour and a half. So we're just gonna like walk around until like we get our spot. And Julia suggested that we get ice cream first, like do dessert first. And we're like, that's such a good idea because we have an hour and a half and we would get ice cream anyways, and we're hungry. <laughs> so why not do dessert first, switching it up? Hey guys, what is up? So it's currently 5.05 p.m. And today I was just like catching up on work even though it's Saturday, like I needed to work today just because we are going away at the end of this upcoming week. So I need to make sure that I'm back on track so that I have like videos to post so I can still be consistent. So I'm working the weekend and I'm gonna work through the week just so I can make sure that I'm back on track and you know, be back in line so I'm not stressing out every two seconds. So yeah, I was just working today, but we're just at the grocery store right now because we're gonna get groceries for dinner. My dad's gonna make it, but he just needed me to zip out to the store to get some ingredients. Today is like the first gloomy day that the sun hasn't come out in literally so long. Like the sun has been out every single day for probably the past month i feel like i don't know like it's so weird having a gloomy day i'm not used to it so it kind of put me in a, like a downer mood today but then i'm like we kind of need the gloominess and we kind of need the rain because of the forest fires that are happening in the interior of bc right now so this is actually a good thing <laughs> so we needed this but yeah so we're just about to zip into the store and then i really want to redo the photo frames in my room tonight so that's what we're our little project that we're going to be doing let's go grocery shopping You guys, yesterday when we were out, I forgot to vlog this because I was just like living in the moment and it was so funny. So when we were driving to the place we were going, we heard like a, like it sounded like a rock hitting my car and I'm like, what the hell is that? And then we get there and I'm like, oh my God, my hubcap fell off. And then I'm like, well, we already parked, we paid for parking, so I didn't want to go back. It was only like two minutes away from the spot. So I was like, we'll just go back later. Later, it was dark and I'm like, okay, we got to try and find the street so we can get my hubcap back. Cause I just really wanted it back. I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of like getting new ones. It was just one so i just wanted to find it and i'm like someone must have put it on the side of the road or something so joel i can let you take it from here <laughs> so 
basically we were looking around we were looking everywhere and like we just couldn't find the street that we came because we came a really weird way because i missed a turn so that like messed us up and then i'm like wait what did i miss where do we actually turn and it was just like yeah confusing. like there were so many side streets we went down so especially like, since it was nighttime it was like harder to like see it you know yeah because you can't see anything so anyways we were looking around for probably like 15 20 minutes maybe and then everybody was ready to give up <clears throat> they just wanted to get going i was giving up i was yeah. like Joel, okay that's it like we, we whatever yeah it's she, fine. she didn't care but to me it wasn't about finding the hubcap it was just about finding it i needed to find it i could almost smell it like i was on the scent i was like a dog on the scent <laughs> like i could smell it but like not with my nose if that makes any sense Anyways, I said, I begged Michaela to give me another chance to find it. And I was like, okay, fine, we'll go around one more time. So I got one more chance. So I was looking. Every street we passed, I was like, oh, like, I, like it's not, I can't use up my chance on this one. I know it's not this one. And then we just kept going down. And then right when I was about to say, like, okay, I have no idea where we are, the street was right in front of us. It appeared it was right there. And Michaela like, oh my was God. like, holy shit, that's the street. And then I was like, oh my God, that is the street. And I led us there, even though I had no idea where I was. And then Joel gets out of the car. I park on the side of the road. Joel gets out of the car and he like is there for two minutes and he's like, I found it. I'll insert the picture right here. He found the hubcap. And here we are today. I haven't put it back on yet because I need my dad to like stick it on because I don't want that happening again. But we have the hubcap. Woo! My car looks so ratchet without it. Like hubcaps make a big difference. Like it just looks so ratchet. Anyway, so that was a little story. And I think that that just goes to show it's kind of a life lesson because like we were about to give up and we were this close away from finding it. So never give up because you never know when you're gonna succeed, you know? Never give up. Okay guys, so as you know, I've literally been saying this for like probably a month now. I want to switch out like the pictures in my picture frames and um, do something different. So I thought of an idea. So what I did was I looked on Pinterest and I got like a whole bunch of cute, sorry, I got like some chips here. So I went on to Pinterest and I got a whole bunch of like poster like photos and I saved a bunch of them. So you can see like my inspo here. So I got like a whole bunch. And so I'm just gonna print some of them out and then replace it with the photos that are currently in the photo frames right now and make like a collage of them if that makes sense. So I'm gonna make each one like a big paper size so it takes up the full paper and then just make a collage within the photo frames if that even makes sense. But you guys will see. Just something to switch it up because I get really bored really easily. I just want my room to be like more colorful and stuff so. Vime flavored Tostitos are literally the best. Okay, so what I'm literally just gonna do is like this is a poster board and I don't have another poster board So I'm literally just gonna like put the images that I want to do the collage over this and then yeah Because it's it doesn't really matter anyway So I'm just literally gonna lay all the images on here, but I have to print them first. So we're gonna do that now Okay, so this is the first one that I did I just got to flip it over put the frame thing back and I think we're good Hopefully it looks good up on the wall Kind of nervous, but I think it will. Moment of truth, you guys. If I can hang it by myself, it should be fine. Oh my God, I mean, I really like it. I think it looks so cute. You guys, I'm literally in love. It looks so cute. Now I just gotta do this one, but I think that it looks so good. Oh my God, this is like so, so exciting. Alrighty, round two, let's go. All right, you guys, here's the next one. I'm literally in love, I cannot wait to hang it. <gasps> you guys, I'm literally obsessed. Look at how cute it looks. It's just so fun and it just like represents me more. It's just fun. I like can connect with like all the quotes that I put up here. I'll give you guys like a more in-depth look here. I'm literally obsessed. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm so happy. This is so freaking cute. Hey guys, what is up? So it's currently Sunday. We're just on the way to have dinner at Joel's house. The forest fire smoke i think has been traveling over here to the coast 
and the sky is looking very smoky not very smoky i shouldn't say very smoky because it's like not that bad but it definitely is smoky today like earlier in the day like when we just first woke up it was like cloudy like i think it was actually cloudy like the weather was cloudy and then the sun started to come out and i look outside and i'm like that does not look right like it looked orangey and it like the sky it looks like smoke like it looks like there's smoke and i'm like damn it the fires are traveling and apparently the sunset was beautiful last night joe was just telling me because the smoke will color the sky and like make it more red so i can see the how that would be like amazing but that's not a good sign because we're we're planning on going to the interior at the end of the week because joel's family is getting renting a cabin so yeah this isn't a good sign honestly though it should be fine i mean looking at the weather now there is rain that's coming at the the end of the week it's gonna be like sunny for the next couple days but then it's gonna rain for a few days in a row which is like great news so i hope it rains everywhere because it seems like we are one of the most rainy places in the world we literally get rain all year round and then when we need the rain it never actually comes like in the summer when we get the fires so i'm really hoping that we get the rain because we need the rain and i never thought that i'd ever say that in my life because i get so sick of the rain during like the winter because it's just raining every single day and it gets annoying but yeah that's the update you guys i've been feeling so great because i'm almost caught up okay if you guys watched monday's video the last video that i posted you guys will see that um like i was getting my shit back together and i actually did a lot of filming today and this week so i have all the videos filmed already for this upcoming week and i'm just finishing this vlog up now so by the time we get to dinner i'll have everything filmed this is the most caught up just by even the filming that i did like it's that we've been in so long so it just feels so good to be almost back on track we're getting there but it just feels so like stress-free i've been also eating healthier and working from within out working on yourself is just as important as actual like working towards your goals because if you neglect yourself and you don't work on yourself then that sets you back entirely because if you're not taking care of your body mind and soul then you're not going to feel so great and you're not going to be as productive you're not going to be as energetic and it's going to trickle into literally every aspect of your life and into your work if you neglect your body and you just eat like garbage you're going to feel like garbage and like how can you possibly like be like the most creative like you might not have a certain idea that might you know <laughs> freaking change the position you're in just because you're not your body your brain isn't working and firing on all cylinders because you're eating like shit so like your mind body and spirit are the three things that you can have 100 percent control of you don't have control over anything else other than yourself so once you can master yourself then like your surroundings will conform to you if that kind of makes sense yeah well you said it better than me yeah so anyways that just goes like into take care of yourself and put yourself first i feel so much better now that i started eating better i started actually doing like my meditations and everything started writing again in my gratitude journal and everything and i just makes me feel so much better and it just goes to show that like putting in the work for yourself it pays off in every single other aspect of your life so don't be shy to spend time on yourself invest in yourself because that's the greatest investment is in yourself bam i think that's said and done oh it's 555 right now what are the odds anyways i'm gonna end off today's video here you guys thank you so much for watching as always leave any video requests that you guys have down below and i'm always sending positive vibes your way as you already know do something that makes you smile today because life is too short not to. I love you guys so much. Peace.